This is how you can get a streaming status on your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go in and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. You can go ahead and check all of the information on the qualifying tiers using the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to, I have released the server shop on Discord where you can purchase custom bot packages. I'm going to be releasing more of these soon, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and click that link in the description below as well stay tuned for more information on that and with that we can actually go ahead and get into the code here all right so we can go over to events and we can go over to our ready.js so make sure you go ahead and define your activity type you could use the discord.js docs to get the specific number for streaming but we're just going to use activity type because that's a lot easier so the first step is actually setting an activity so we can do client.user does set activity and we can actually go ahead and open that up here we're going to go ahead and start by getting our name which is going to be the status that is displayed so we can just go ahead and get an emoji here and we can do something like streaming status or something like that it doesn't really matter what you put in there and then we can get our type and this is going to be our activity type and then we can do dot streaming so this is going to be the activity type we're going to be getting obviously it's a streaming type so next we're going to go and get our url now you have to actually put in a correct url for this otherwise the streaming status won't work it will just display as online so in order for this to actually work you have a couple of options you could either use Use a previous VOD from a YouTube stream or you could use a Twitch channel. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Twitch link. So we're going to be using twitch.tv slash discord for the Twitch channel here. If we go back into our code and we put that link in there, then that will work. So we can go ahead and start off with the Twitch stream and then I'll go ahead and actually put in the YouTube stream after this. So after we're done with this code, we can actually go ahead and save the file and turn this on. All right. So as you can see here, we now have our streaming discord bot and it's only going to display the actual status on here so as you can see it says streaming status and if we actually go ahead and click on it and we click on watch as you can see it's going to open up the discord twitch account so we can do this again, but this time we're going to go ahead and get a YouTube video. It's not going to work for all videos. It only works for previous live streams. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of mine. And then we can just go ahead and copy this link. We can go back over into the code and we can actually go ahead and paste that link in there. And then we can go ahead and turn the bot on again. All right. So now that the bot is back online, it's still going to have the streaming status and nothing has changed. But this time, if we go ahead and click on that button, it's actually going to go ahead and open up this YouTube stream right here. So let me show you what happens if we put in a invalid link here so we can just go ahead and put this in actually instead of my channel we're just going to do no channel we can just do a random youtube link and now we can actually go ahead and turn this on so now that we've gone ahead and turned it on as you can see here we put in the youtube link but now it's going to be online so obviously it's a mobile status i did make a video on that if you're interested but because we put a invalid link in there uh, the status is just going to go ahead and default to online it's not going to be able to stream if the streaming link does not actually work for the bot so that's just something to keep in mind if the status does not actually turn on to streaming that's going to be because you put in a link that is not a streaming platform or a previous streamed youtube video all right so that's how you can set a streaming status for your discord.js version 14 bot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video